now we have rotation, but we don't have no heat. What's up, y'all? And allow me to welcome you to my video, Dry Repairs Part 2. I like to call it No Heat, No Problem. So last time, we didn't have no rotation, right? Well, now we have rotation, but we don't have no heat. This thing can spin all night and never heat up. So that's going to be a problem. So why don't we go ahead and fix that? Come on. So what's the first thing you want to do when working on this dryer? Unplug the dryer. That's right. So I'm gonna reach over here grab the plug firmly And unplug remove the power source. That's the first thing you want to do Second thing you want to do is pull this bad boy out and give yourself some room to work with And then you're gonna want to remove your dryer vent which is gonna be That silver thing down there. Yeah, you're gonna want to take that off. It's usually a clamp Probably a Phillips head screwdriver will probably do the trick. So I'm going to grab them tools and we'll remove that uh, dryer vent. So here you can see I positioned the dryer a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on back there. And I'm going to remove that, uh, I'm going to loosen that clamp so I can pull that hose, that dryer vent right off there. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to remove this clamp, to loosen this clamp to remove the, dr the vent hose. I'm sorry. Shouldn't take too many turns to loosen this. A few turns ought to do the trick. And then we can just pull this right off. Voila. Just like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my dryer around and face the back to the open side here so I can work with and you can see better. And we're gonna take that back panel off. Alright, y'all, now that we have the back facing us, what I'm gonna do is remove all these screws right here to hold this back panel on and we're going to remove this back panel so it's a using a quarter inch bit in my driver and we're just going to start removing some of these are already gone obviously i've done this a time or two always keep your hardware in a safe place that's how you ain't missing a few Once all those are out of place, this panel will come right off. Slide it right off. And here's what we have. So here's what the back of our dryer looks like. And there's a few important components back here that we're going to check. If one of these components has failed, that's probably why we're not getting no heat. But I'm going to point these out with the, my little green pointer here. So right here. This is called thermal fuse. Right below it is the cycling thermostat. Then right up here you have your high limit cutoff. Right here you have your thermostat. And just below that and inside this encasement right here you have your heating element. Now if any of these items here has failed then that's probably why you're not getting heat. And some of these items were designed to fail to protect your uh, your dryer and protect your home and protect everything. So if it overheats, the part will fail and it'll keep it from catching fire and other things, you know, that you don't want to happen. So I'm going to post a picture that I got online of all these components so you have a better list, but I just wanted to point those out and I wanted to use my green pointer again. But yeah. We're going to test all these parts for continuity, and uh, if any of these does not have continuity, then that's where our problem lies. I'm big money on the uh, heating element. That's just my, my guess right there, but we'll see. Let me get my meter and we'll get to testing. I got my meter with me, and I'm going to set this to right here. I want to hear this. I want to hear that every time. So when I test these, I'm going to disconnect these. I'll start right here. Remember where you took these wires off of. I have mine marked, but just remember that. So take these off, and what you want to do is put one post on this and the other here, and you want to hear that beep. 
Okay, we have continuity here. That's good. This fuse is a common part for breaking or burning out. So I like to keep a few of these fuses handy. They're real cheap. You can buy a few online. Just keep them for when a situation like this may happen. Now in this one, I'm going to disconnect these two and check, but I may have to go with these other two. So let me check these first. Nothing there, but I may have to check it. It's got two other ends on it, which is up here and down here. So now I've got those disconnected. Let's check these for continuity. There it is. So we're good there. And we'll move on to the next one. So we're good here. We're good here. We're going to go up here now. Continuity is the name of the game. You hear that? We're good. We have continuity there. All right. So we're down to our last, uh, our last two parts here. So on this part, we have continuity. So I'm gonna plug that back in. Now this is the actual thermostat part itself. This actually connects to the thermostat. So I'm gonna leave that one on. Let's see if we have continuity. We do not. I do not hear nothing. Looks like our heating element is bad. And that was my guess. A lot of time what happens is your lint trap gets full and it don't get cleaned. So it causes this to overheat. And when it overheats, it breaks. And when it breaks, well, you lose continuity. You got no heat. And here we are. So I'm going to remove the heating element and we're going to take a look at it and see where it's broke. Okay, now to remove our heating element, we got a screw here and maybe one right here on this side. We'll take both of those out. And then we'll pull this down and bring it on out. Now we have all our wires disconnected here. If you have to, take a picture of it before you disconnect anything. That way you know how it goes. Take these two out. Remember to keep your hardware in a safe place. Sorry if I'm blocking the, the view here. Let's take those two screws out. And then we're going to take this and slide it on down, slide it on out. And there's our heat element. And somewhere along the line, it is broken right there. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right there. See where this and this are no longer connected? That was a weak point where it broke. So this heating element is bad, it needs to be replaced. This part here, we're going to remove this part and put it on the new heating element. But first, we must order the new heating element. So I'm gonna pause here on the video. I'm gonna go to Amazon. I'm gonna order me a new heating element. And when it comes in, we're gonna resume with the installation of the heating element. And like I said, we're taking this part off, tossing this, we'll install this part on the new one, put it all back together, hook everything up. Uh, we'll plug it in, give it a test run, see if we're getting heat. And then uh, we'll put this thing back together. That should uh, do the fix. So until we get the heating element, I'll see you next time. All right, y'all, now here we are. We got our our bad uh, heating element here. And we're going to take this part off right here. And we're going to install it on our new heating element right here. That's the next mission. I've kind of loosened it already to make it easier for the uh, viewers at home. It can be on there kind of tight sometimes. I'll use a screwdriver. And some pliers, kind of wedge it out, and then you just take that off right there. So I hope you can see all this. But we are taking this off, and that is now trash. So we will resume by putting this on. And what I like to do is pull this little tab up, just bend it up a little bit. This fit right over that little tab. I hope y'all can see this. But so we'll get it in like so. And then this will fit right over here. And we'll push that down a bit. We just want it to sit nice and flush. Now this here, you can push it back in a little bit with your finger. Be careful because these uh, little corners and little metal parts are sharp. So be careful with that, but uh, you can see that was quick and easy.
quick swap. Now we're ready to put this back into our dryer, make our connections, and uh, give it a test run. So let's get to doing that. All right, we got our heating element. That's going to be the inside, outside. You want your connections where your wires are going to be. We're going to put this right in there and slide it into position. Align your holes on each side where your hardware is going to go. And there you go. One there. One over here. Make sure you're aligned right. Bam. Okay. That's in place. Now we need to make our connections. If you don't remember, refer to the pictures that we talked about earlier. Remember, take pictures before you start taking stuff apart. It will help you uh, figure out the puzzle when you're trying to put it all back together. But, as I've mentioned, I've done this a time or two, so I kind of know what I'm doing here. Or so, I think. So, we should have a repair made. Now, what we want to do is test this. So what I'm going to do to test this is I'm going to turn the dryer all the way around, plug it in, I'll open it up so we can see, and we should see it flare up a nice orange and feel some heat coming out of both ends. So let's try that. All right, y'all, I've turned the dryer around, plugged it in. I still have the back off because we're testing. I have it set, and I'm going to hit the start button, and we're going to look for the orange light. <laughs> See the orange glow back there? I see it nice and bright. That means we're getting heat. So that tells me it's problem solved. I can smell the toastiness. I can feel the heat coming from the back. I can feel the heat coming inside there. So our repair has been made. Now we need to put everything back together. All right, y'all, our next move is to put the uh, back panel back on. I am going to uh, install some new hardware in a few of these holes because I've uh, lost some of the hardware over the years. So I may have to change my bit size every now and then. But all you have to do is align this, align your holes. And once you get them right, we got one lined up right here. I'll put that there. Get another one lined up. And we shouldn't have to hold no more. Put that over just a bit. There we go. Then we'll just uh, adjust as need be. Replace hardware as need be. And go on with our business. And for those of you wondering if I'm sweating bullets, yes, I am. Because it is hot. It is nice and toasty in here. This is where I will change bits and get some new hardware here. And we'll install some new hardware right there. Okay. Back panel is on. And just FYI, before I put the back panel off, I did uh, take the shop back and clean up anything that was in there. Try to keep it nice and clean. That is where your heating element is and everything it gets hot. You don't want nothing to uh, start smoking or catch fire or anything like that. So try to keep it clean inside there. 
before you put this panel back on. Alright y'all, so here we are. We got our dryer in position. This is one of the uh, most critical parts. Probably the hardest part. You gotta give yourself plenty of room to work back here. Putting your dryer vent back on could be a pain sometimes. So, there's our dryer vent. Make sure you clean that out and clean the area where your dryer goes before you put all this back in. Very important. Keep that dryer vent flowing. So, uh, I've already done all that off camera. So now I'm just going to back up the uh, dryer until I get close enough and I'm going to hook that vent up and I'm going to tighten it in place. It's got a flat head or a nut style bit to turn that clamp. We'll just slide that over that, tighten it up, make sure it doesn't fall off and then we'll slide our dryer into place, plug it in, give it another go and that should be that. Let's get to it. This can be the funnest part of all. You might not be able to see because I might be blocking this. Got my lights in up here. Trying our best to get this in the line of sight for you, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Y'all know what I'm doing. So, yeah, there we are. nice and tight so I'll move my dryer in place try to get everything to fit nice not bend up my dryer vent too much still be able to get my cord and plug it in which we now have Alright y'all, we got everything put together, everything hooked up, your dryer vents hooked up, we're plugged in, back panels back on, everything's in place. Uh, let's try it out one more time to make sure we got heat, and then we can call this one a wrap. Let's do this. So, timer is set. <clears throat> Open for the views. Give it a sec. Oh yeah, see that bright orange coming into play? And there it is. It's a wrap y'all. Thank you for joining me on this part two of this dryer bin. Be sure to stay tuned to Joe Fix It Vids for more repair vids, automotive, home, random. I'm going to drop some shorts soon. You know, a little bit of everything. I'm just going to keep it going. As things pop up, I'll continue to fix them. Or try to anyways. That's the mission. Alright. Hit the like. Subscribe. Show some love. Drop a comment. You know what it is. Until the next time. Peace out.